Back when the Soviets were churning out the world's least ergonomic handguns, one country decided to take a more refined approach to sidearm development. They chose ergonomics and precision over simplicity and economics. Czechoslovakia developed their next combat handgun with a love of shooting and accuracy in mind. They built and designed the CZ-75, king of the Wonder Nines. In fact, the CZ-75's performance was so impressive that several countries built their own models, some licensed, others not. One such clone is the TriStar Arms T120, featuring all steel construction, a rail dust cover, and a Cerakote finish. This imitation truly is the most sincere form of flattery. Now the T120 is a Turkish-made, all-steel CZ-75 clone chambered in 9mm Parabellum. The T120's rail dust cover gives it an appearance not dissimilar to the Israeli Jericho 941, also in 9mm Parabellum, and itself a CZ-75 clone. Just like the CZ-75, the T120 slide rides inside the frame as opposed to the more traditional method of slide riding on the outside of the frame. This lends itself to better accuracy due to the additional points of contact, providing better consistency in both slide and barrel harmonics and movement. I found the T120 to be more accurate than my standard Glock 17 at combat distances of up to 25 meters, and the recoil of it being substantially less given its increased mass. Now the ergonomics of the T120 are very similar to that of the Browning High Power, and just like the High Power and the 1911 that preceded it, can be carried in condition one, or cocked and locked. The T120's thin grips, all steel construction, and low bore axis make for an exceptionally soft shooting pistol. Though the slide in frame design does have one shortcoming, a lack of proper gripping real estate on the slide. This makes racking the gun and clearing malfunctions somewhat difficult. TriStar attempted to alleviate this lack of gripping real estate by opting for a more aggressive fish scale style serrations on the slide as opposed to the standard linear ones. But the area to grab is still minimal. Thankfully, in the course of my 500 round test, the T120 functioned flawlessly with both plus P and defensive type ammunition. Additionally, most of these rounds had a similar point of impact, which is good because the sights aren't adjustable. The T120 is available in four different Cerakote finishes, titanium, chrome, black, and the desert tan shown here. This finish is more durable than a standard blue, though arguably not as attractive. Aftermarket support for the T120 is good since it utilizes the same grips, sights, and magazines as a standard CZ75B. So finding spare magazines for your new pistol won't be too difficult. The T120 with its soft single action trigger pull and soft recoil makes for an ideal bedside gun, especially for recoil sensitive shooters. Though folks with arthritis or limited upper body strength may want to select a different handgun as racking the gun with its minimally exposed slide can be quite difficult. With an MSRP $200 less than an actual CZ75, the TriStar 120 might be a good way to get your CZ feet wet before investing a solid $700 in an actual CZ75, with an added bonus that all the magazines you purchase will work with both. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.